Did you uh, hear uh, something of uh, Mario? Uh? No, no, I didn't. Uh, let us stand uh, here a little more. Uh. <laughs> Luigi, a barking squirrel. Uh. Us squirrel tails have got to stick together. Hey, uh, I'm a raccoon uh, to ya. On the table today, we have Super Mario Connects Blind Mystery Packs Series 6. Seven figures to collect this time, although it looks like we've seen many of these before. Although some of these are new to me, I am definitely looking forward to that ghost. As always, on the back of the packages, Connects does this marvelous thing where they have a number and an underline under each number indicating a different figure. So if you want to collect them all, just get a different number with a different underline. Or if you like a certain figure, then you can just look for that version. Okay then, let's get started right away and look at the pack with the first number underlined. That would be zero. We are going to start out with what looks to be a Golden Mario. Very interesting. Almost something you would see from uh, an old James Bond movie. Uh, poor Mario has been encased in gold. But, pretty interesting figure. Uh, just your standard Mario figure looks like, but he is gold. I like though there is a little bit of an outline going on for his uh, overalls and his Mario on his hat and his eyes so some of that does stand out a little better than I thought it would. So that is Golden Mario. He is the first number underlined. Moving on to the second number which is the five underlined. Looks like we have a turtle with a helmet. I kind of thought this was a Hammer Brother turtle, but I don't see a hammer, so what is this guy? Oh, it's a Fire Brother. Okay, that makes more sense. I remember these guys. They used to give me quite a lot of pain. Um, I'm excited to see this guy a lot because I like the turtles a lot in this uh, collection. It's fun to build them. If I get the shell right, the tail piece goes on the bottom. That's a big duh right there. And there we go. Yeah, usually the Fire Hammer Brother has the, well, just Fire Brother, has the red shell, so that's kind of obvious now that I'm seeing him. Uh, so that'll be fun to have. Too bad he didn't have an accessory. I know they don't usually have an accessory, like a hammer or a something, but maybe if he held on to like a fireball, that would have been nice. And moving on, next number would be one underlined. Feeling kind of round, so this is probably going to be either the ghost or the flying para Goomba. There he is, in all his glory. Excited to see this guy. Boo would be the ghost name, more proper name. And uh, pretty fun, oh I like the teeth on this guy. They are sharp, you can actually fit your finger in there. And, uh, come on, there we go. He really bit on there. Uh, soft little tongue in there, kind of, no not really. The only thing I'd hate to say about this is it really needs a stand. Kind of like those Pac-Man ghosts I think used to have, they had a little clear stand that he would sit on. Uh, because ghosts fly, they don't do that, so kind of bummer on that, but maybe I can construct something. But how cool is this? He is very, very cool. Uh, very, very uh, frightening. Oh, hey, Gast. How's it going? All pretty good, Boo. Haven't seen you around in a while. Yep, yep. I've been, you know, doing my same old, same old. I sneak up behind someone, and I sneak up behind them a little more, and then they turn around, and I get scared, and I just freeze. <laughs> Got problems. Yeah, yeah, I've got problems too. I just like to, you know, do killing. I find people and I shoot fire at them and, uh, you know, I just love to do stuff like that. Yeah. We're just misunderstood ghosts, I guess. Yep, all right, well, I'm gonna go to the supermarket. Yep, and I've gotta go to the arcade. Well, see you later. Moving swiftly, we are on to pack number five underlined. Looks like we have Princess Daisy. I believe Daisy, what, first appeared in the uh, Super Mario Land games instead of the princess? Is that kind of her story? It's been a while. And there she is, kind of in her gold uh, orange dress, different hair than the princess usually, so kind of fun to have an alternate princess around the town. Now we are looking at number one underlined. 
towards the back end of the numbers. There we have a Tanuki suit Mario. I believe Series 5 had the Tanuki suit in white, and so this is the more common uh, uh, version of the Tanuki suit that I usually know of. There we go, Mario in his Japanese-style uh, raccoon suit. Very squirrel-like. Always like these guys to be involved. Pretty neat. The only downside is some of these uh, Tanuki suits and the Cat Mario is that the heads sometimes pop off, but this head feels pretty solid, so I think it's not going to fall off. Getting closer to the end, this is the number zero underlined towards the end of the number. Probably going to be this Luigi. And it is, this is Fox Luigi. For some reason, I really like this guy. It's just Luigi, but with his fox suit. Haha, <laughs> I like it. Kind of a fun variant of Luigi to have. Fox Luigi, everybody. Come on, stand. Here we go. And finally, the number three underlined, most likely the flying Koopa Troopa, or Trooper, what would you call it? We'll see the, uh, Oh, Paracoomba. I was way off. Uh, there he is, one solid piece. There's no turning. Well, you can move these wings, maybe. If you want to break these wings. Uh, but this guy's great. He's basically what he was before, but with wings. But I love these guys. These guys are something you really want a lot of, so uh, fun to see him involved with the Series 6. Paracoomba, have you seen a daisy? -ah? No, uh, okay, then I you best to be getting on my way. Uh. I you best to be a getting on my way, uh. What's that? You say you want my tail or you are gonna kill me? Oh, okay, uh, here's my tail. And I you best be going the other way, uh, now, uh. See you later. And that is your Series 6 Super Mario Connects Minifigures Mystery Pack Collection. Pretty good choices this time. I really enjoy the Fire Brother to add to my legion of turtle attackers. And the Para Goomba is also neat to have. And of course the Ghost Boo. So interesting choice too with that Golden Mario adding into the collection there. That's the figures. That's the fun. That's what I have to say about that. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Mario, Mario, I think King Koopa is... Oh my god, Mario, he's turned to gold! Ah!